Aloha and mabuhay. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host for Pinoy Power Hawaii. I would like to welcome you to another episode of Pinoy Power Hawaii here on Think Tech Hawaii. But first and foremost, we'd like to thank you, our loyal followers who uh, look forward to watching our show here on Think Tech Hawaii. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat. Today we have another interesting, uh, close and uh, intimate show. And uh, you folks might find it very, very uh, interesting. Para kada kayong agsagsagaba kita ito yung condition. And we brought with us uh, the expert. Ito ay talagang uh, makaamu itir aramida nan may panggap kita ito yung sitwasyon. And he's been around. Um, he he is well known in his field of expertise, and we are featuring him at the uh, PLC Medical Center as an extended part of their uh, medical services. So we welcome Dr. Danilo Canete. Thank you, Amy. Uh, first, doctor, I know that um, many women, especially, would like to hear of the good news that you're going to share with them. Uh, we'd like to hear about. Who is Dr. Danilo Cañete? A little bit about you. Okay. So I was born and raised in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. I'm Visayan from Cebu. Visayan. Uh -huh. From Cebu. And then I went to UST Medical School mm -hmm. and did all my training in the East Coast. And my first job as chief of a cardiac cath lab at a hospital in mm -hmm. Chicago. So in Chicago, when I was there, President Johnson decided that he was going to conscript draft all doctors. Mm. So I didn't want to go to Vietnam, so I signed up. Mm -hmm. And so I signed up with the Navy mm -hmm. and then spent 24 years in the Navy Reserves. Um, essentially, part of my career has been Navy. Wow. Uh, very patriotic, serving, <laughs> serving our country uh -huh. on the water, uh, yeah, right? Yeah. You could say that. Actually, being a doctor, you don't have to be in a hospital. You don't have to be, you have oh. to be on a ship. Uh -huh. so. Oh, okay. But your service is very much wanted, especially in your field of cardiology. Yes. So close to the heart. It uh, is in the heart, mm -hmm. yes. So uh, to tell us, w w what got you interested? So cardiology was moving really fast when I was still in training. I trained at Albert Einstein, mm -hmm. and they were trying to talk me into the fellowship in pulmonology and gastroenterology. And mm -hmm. The heart just kind of took my interest. Uh, pacemakers were just starting at that time. Mm -hmm. I decided that's the way to go. And so I did my fellowship and finished it and then got the job in uh, Chicago. Wow. So. Very, very appropriate naman, Dr. Siempre, yung uh, centro. Uh, yeah. Ang ating, uh, ano, how would you describe it? Well, the heart's the center of everything, right? Yes, so, <laughs> including so love. The, the, uh, <laughs> yeah. But I, I can't fix broken hearts. Oh, you, you can't do that? <laughs> <laughs> so the reason I wound up in Hawaii was mm -hmm. I got discharged at Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. And I was based in Guam uh, during the Vietnam War. Mm. And it was a big rock, 32 miles long, 4 miles wide. Mm -hmm. So when my family moved here, my wife is going to have it's another rock, but mm -hmm. we decided to stay on. And mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I signed up with uh, the Front Clinic and mm -hmm. stayed with them for a long time and then went out on my own mm -hmm. uh, a few years later. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, you've been uh, uh, practicing cardiologist? Yes, and part-time administration. I was uh, the CEO of the Hawaii Medical Center. Mm -hmm. So if you remember, St. Francis mm -hmm. Hospital was going bankrupt. Mm -hmm. So I got... 120 doctors together to put up some real money mm -hmm. to buy out the hospital. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. They were asking 90 million at the time. 90 million, wow. So I raised some significant money and I found a partner in Kansas. Mm -hmm. And we put the money together, bought the hospital, and renamed it Hawaii Medical Center. And I was CEO of that hospital for a long time, mm -hmm. but spent my years as CEO hiring people. We had 1,500 employees when I took over, uh -huh. and by the time we were done, we had 800 left wow. over. Wow. So it was sad times. I wasn't proud of those times. Uh -huh. But 90 million is such a big uh, nut to crack, Doc. It's a big amount of money. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, I can associate 90 million because um, 
the uh, owner of Overstock.com, Patrick, yes. had just sold his interest. Uh, I'm just trying to relay numbers, but <laughs> 90 million. Yes. Yeah. Not to Trump, though. That's nothing. Else. Not, not to Trump. No. Well, that's a Trump card. <laughs> okay. So, that's pocket change. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could be in, uh, uh, be a benefactor of some of that crumbs. Those it, change. It's, it's not really happiness. Is not really about money. Okay. I know a lot of rich people are very unhappy. Uh huh. And I know a lot of poor people who are very happy. Uh -huh. You can tell when, when my patients go uh -oh. to ICU, uh -huh. the rich ones, nobody visits. Maybe oh. the third wife or the fourth uh -oh. wife. But uh -huh. the poor ones, mm -hmm. like 30 people are in there visiting Everybody them. comes. Yeah. yeah. So because they love? have a good heart. Who's uh -huh. The poor ones, right? Yes. The poor ones because, uh, you know. They... So it's not about money. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for uh, explaining that and reminding me and putting me back into the center. It doesn't buy happiness. Uh, Ayan, uh, I totally agree with you, Doc. Okay. Um, you know, uh, the subject that we're talking about is uh, close to women, especially those that uh, re really want to look good all over, right? Malaking problema yan para sa mga women, right? Um, tell me, how did you get into uh, doing the veins? Okay, so being a cardiologist, mm -hmm. I use catheters, mm -hmm. and I put catheters up into the heart. Mm -hmm. And in 2007, I decided I was getting too old to be called by the emergency room mm -hmm. to go open a black coronary artery from a guy who's having a heart attack. Mm -hmm. So I'd have to go there at 3 o'clock in the morning put a stent and open, but you're the, badly needed, open dog. the vessel. Oh. True, but uh -huh. many times I wouldn't even get paid oh. at 3 o'clock in the morning. So it's not all about money. So, <laughs> true, but I was under risk for being sued if I had a misadventure. Oh. And then I found uh -huh. out that doing veins paid me the same, if not more, mm -hmm. and it only took 10, 15 minutes. Tuluga? Yeah. Wow. And I can do it in the office instead uh -huh. of in the hospital. Oh. So you're hearing all kinds of problems now with mm -hmm. Queen's Hospital and... Mm -hmm. The doctor's not happy. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to be a doctor in a hospital mm -hmm. being ruled Sued. by them telling, them telling me how I should live my life. Uh -huh. So in my office, mm -hmm. we run a really good shop. We've been doing veins for 12 years. And I think we, do a, we can compare with anybody mm -hmm. in the country. Mm -hmm. so. so on the average, uh, how many you would perform uh, per day or per week? We do a lot. We can do 9, 10 cases in one day. Mm -hmm. So let me and it's all done in your office. Uh, I have two offices. One uh -huh. is in Waipaho, is my main office. Okay. Then we have one at the Honolulu Med Spa in Liliha Street. That's my, that's, that's my medical <laughs> <laughs> place that I go. So we started talking about the vein business. Mm -hmm. So the most common vein problem that women have, mm -hmm. and one out of every two females actually has it. One out of two. Correct. It's mm -hmm. called spider veins. Those are the bluish veins that uh -oh. you see in the legs and the thighs. Sometimes red, diba, Doc? Um, uh, uh -oh. But they look like spiders, right? Uh -oh. So a lot of women hide them by wearing mm -hmm. pants or stockings Holes. or long dresses. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when I'm in an escalator, and there's a lady in front of me with lots of spiders, I feel like tapping her on the shoulder and saying, Come see you me. know what? I can fix that. Really? Problema <laughs> 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 uh -huh. With the spider veins, it's not paid by insurance. Because oh. it's cosmetic. Eh? Considered cosmetic, yeah. yeah. So in the, uh -huh. you know. So an, it's not it, covered. Yeah, it's not covered, and it takes us an hour. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's so many, we can't even do it within the hour. Mm -hmm. And we can only give so much medicine to the body at any one time. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have to bring them back. And then they have to pay again, because it's more of our time, and the medicine's oh, expensive. Oh. oh. But we are able to get rid of it. If you go to our website, mm -hmm. that's hawaiiveinscenter.org, mm -hmm. you'll see that we have very good results. We also have a Facebook page, <gasps> Hawaii okay. Vein Center, and there's plenty of information there. Wow. So, so um, anybody could just uh, Google Hawaii Vein Center Correct. for more information. Mm -hmm. So um, when do women start having problems? or? So the spider veins actually can start at any age. Mm -hmm. I had a cute 29-year-old girl from Kauai mm -hmm. who flew in at 10 o'clock in the morning with her boyfriend, also a cute guy, mm -hmm. and she had a little patch on her thigh, and mm -hmm. 
I was going to charge her a lot of money for that little patch. And I said, you know, why even treat it? She said, because I wear a bathing suit all day. I work in a hotel in mm -hmm. this swimming pool. Right. And I don't want to show this to the people around. And mm -hmm. that made sense. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Wow. Uh, seems like a very, very simple procedure, but it's all cosmetic. Hindi all naman cosmetic. na talagang kailangan natin, no? Tama. Uh -huh. So if you feel like you'd rather keep the money and keep your veins, mm -hmm. your, your spider veins, that's mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. Pero as a rule, most women are vain. <laughs> You're so vain, the title of our show. And they would like that removed. Uh -huh. So if they can't afford it, I tell them, to wait until Christmas or birthday, uh -huh. and somebody who loves them right. might be able to pay for it. And actually, a lot of the 35, 40 year old women mm -hmm. have their children pull their money together. Oh. Because the kids are not working, right? Uh -huh. They're in their 20s. Uh -huh. so they pull their money together and pay for the procedure for mommy. Mm -hmm. so. That's a great way. Uh, yeah. Christmas is around the corner, Doc, and right. uh, I'm sure that, uh, you know, sometimes there are women. That are hard to uh, purchase a gift for. Sure. So that it's would a good gift. Th that would come in handy <laughs> if they're into veins. <laughs> yeah, they are all veins. <laughs> uh, what was uh, some of? We're gonna stick to uh, the spider uh, veins, and then the second part of our show, we're gonna go into the more uh, serious. Serious. Part. Uh huh. So, uh, could that be? Could that result from like injury or sports? No, actually, there's a the way the the vein work is you know there's no heart in your legs to pump the blood back up, right? Mm -hmm. So the way the blood goes back up mm -hmm. is when you squeeze your muscles in the legs, uh -huh. it squeezes the veins. Oh, and when the veins are squeezed, mm -hmm. the blood moves up. Right now, there are valves in the vein that mm -hmm. prevents it from falling back down, so it's always going up going that up. way. So it opens, mm -hmm. close, opens, close. Mm -hmm. When the valves are bad, that's when you start showing the veins on the oh. outside. So even those little veins have valves, and that's what happens. And I don't know why women specifically for spider veins, mm -hmm. we don't know the answer to that one yet. So there are clues that something yes. is wrong with... Uh... Yes, and we can prove it by ultrasound. Mm -hmm. You can get free ultrasound sc screening, screening. In, in my office, just mm -hmm. call. Mm -hmm. You can walk in and we'll, all my staff do screening. Mm -hmm. So that screening for the vein, Doc, does, is that the same system for screening of the heart if your arteries are clogged, or is that totally different? Dif uh, it's the same machine, mm -hmm. different probe. Mm -hmm. So the ultrasound probe is different from the heart probe because mm -hmm. it's a little more superficial, and the heart's a little deeper. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're looking for different things in the heart. They're looking for heart valves, mm -hmm. uh, looking for the size of the vessels, here we're just looking for whether the vein valves are opening or closing mm -hmm. and how big the vein is. Oh. So for spider veins, um, we don't, the size doesn't matter because we don't have to ask insurance companies to pay for it anyway. Mm -hmm. But with varicose veins, the insurance companies, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. So the insurance companies have to see whether the size is correct mm -hmm. and whether the valve uh, disease is bad enough okay so. or it's crucial to uh, uh extend their mm -hmm. life or you know but we also do other veins not mm -hmm. just the varicose veins like the veins in the hands that mm -hmm. are really really bad so that the people who own look those like hands they got worms Mama, yeah yeah, yeah and look, look. Uh -uh. so they want those fixed and uh -huh. we fix those again that's cosmetic okay. and these are people there are people with very prominent frontal veins and temporal veins, you right, right. can also fix them. Uh -huh. Again, cosmetic. Cosmetic, mm -hmm. so uh, it's not covered like not uh, covered. the very mm -hmm. close vein that <laughs> yes. we'll be talking about on the second part of our show. Right. We're going to take a short sponsor break, uh, Dr. Danilo Canede. He is the master. I call him the master <laughs> because you have developed a procedure that makes it easy, you know, you make it look looks so easy. It's like one, two, three, right? Thank you. <laughs> We're going to come back uh, with more um, You're So Vain with Dr. Danilo Canete after the short messages. Thank you again for being here. Aloha. I'm your host, Sharon. 
Thomas Yarbrough of Sister Power here at Think Tech of IE. And Sister Power is all about motivating, empowering, educating, and inspiring all people. And we have various subjects here. Sister Power is here at Think Tech every other Thursday at 4 p.m. Again, my name is Sharon Thomas Yarbrough, host of Sister Power. We look forward to seeing you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at sistersempoweringhawaii at gmail.com. Look forward to chatting with you soon. Aloha. Aloha. My name is Becky Sampson, and I'm the host of It's About Time. On the Think Tech Hawaii, a digital nonprofit organization that's raising public awareness. Join us on Wednesday at 2 p.m. where we talk about real issues. Some of the topics will include entrepreneurship, health, life skills, and growing your business. So once again, this is Becky Sampson on It's About Time on Wednesday at 2 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. Mahalo. Welcome back to the second portion of our program titled, You're So Vain. And uh, that's because we have with us the leading or the master, especially here in Hawaii for veins. If you wanted to get rid of your veins so that you're not so vain, you need to uh, see or uh, have a consultation with Dr. Danilo Caniete. So, Doctor, I've been um, informed, educated, uh, and I'd like to know more. This is about the big V vein, right? Yes. And if we could have um, us display our, there you go, the varicose vein. Um, this is more common than the spider vein or it's? No, the spider veins are more common, but this is the one that causes the most problems. Mm -hmm. Because people come to see me, not because they're ugly, although they're very ugly in some cases. Mm -hmm. They see me because they have severe leg cramps keeping oh. them up at night. And have you ever had leg cramps where you, it just doesn't go away? I have jolly horse. Jolly horse, that's exactly jo the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So you may want to have your veins scanned just oh. to make sure. Okay. And they also have heavy legs. It's just tired all day or mm -hmm. itchy. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, if they don't get fixed, you can develop ulcers. Oh. So that's why the insurance companies are willing to pay for this because of the symptoms, not because they're ugly. Mm -hmm. But the insurance companies are very strict about the rules as to why they would pay for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they require the patients to wear compression stockings for three months. Mm -hmm. and to make sure that uh, the process is successful, in, right? In a few percentage of cases, the symptoms go away, but the varicose veins do not go away. Mm -hmm. And the insurance companies are hoping that if the symptoms go away, the patients will decide not to have the procedures done and save their money. Save their money. Mm -hmm. But 99% of the patients still wind up getting the procedures mm -hmm. done. So it's, it's a temporary relief right. for three months. Temporarily fixed. Uh -huh. Correct. How expensive is the procedure, Doc? If the, you can talk numbers or is that something you want to keep private? No. The insurance, it's an open uh, known number. The insurance companies pay up to $3,000 mm -hmm. per leg. Okay. So you can see that for patients who have to pay cash, mm -hmm. and I've had patients that pay cash, mm -hmm. it's a lot of money. Right. So, but to be rid of leg cramp and itchy legs, mm -hmm. then maybe it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we try to give a discount for cash patients. Okay. If they mentioned that they saw it on Pinoy Power Hawaii, sure. would you be able to extend a discount? Yes, definitely. Okay. Uh, let me just mention Pinoy Power Hawaii, and I'm sure Dr. Danilo Cañete in, will extend the discount. In fact, I'll add to that. Mm -hmm. If you mention that you saw us on Pinoy Power, mm -hmm. we'll give you 50% off on compression stockings. Wow. I like it already. Could I buy a pair, Doc? <laughs> there you go. 50% off. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. Um, you know, uh, since you're the expert on the, the heart and circulation, um, you know, it worries me sometimes about uh, aneurysm. Uh, how does that relate to uh, your field of cardiology so, uh, and the vein? So I actually see aneurysms as well. 
and they're not related to, to veins because that's the arterial system. Oh, okay. So those are the big arteries like uh -huh. the aorta that goes all the way down to your legs and divide. Mm -hmm. And if they're enlarged, it's called the aneurysm, they can burst and people die very suddenly. Yes. So part of the ultrasound equipment that mm -hmm. we use to do the vein can also do the heart and can measure those vessels. So we have guidelines. If it's that big, then we follow it every year and do the ultrasound every year. Mm -hmm. Once it gets a certain size, we send them to the surgeon mm -hmm. for surgery. Mm -hmm. And now they're able to put in a balloon right. to protect the inside. So it's not open anymore. They can just put a catheter in and insert the balloon that way. Uh -huh. So it makes it... But the more, in my cardiology field, mm -hmm. the more dangerous is something called atrial fibrillation. Okay, explain that's when that. You, that's when you feel your heart beating fast. Mm. And if you have that, you can actually get a stroke. Oh. My mother had that and had a stroke. Uh -huh. I have it. I've had it since 2012. But mine is like 30 minutes once a year. Uh -huh. So but, beating fast, is that like you can compare it to maybe drinking too much coffee? That is uh, No. No? Okay, is, is so the heart has a system with synchronous beating between the atrium and the ventricle. It's always going like this. Mm -hmm. Normally. That steady and if pumping. you're exercising, it will go faster. Mm -hmm. But it's always in sequence. Right, right. In atrial fibrillation, the top mm -hmm. goes crazy and it just goes irregular. Oh. And this one's trying to catch up. Right, right. It's this one not beating normally that now the blood there is just going around and around and uh -huh. around and it'll cause a clot. Oh. And when the clot goes up to the brain, yes. you get a stroke. Mm -hmm. So I have a machine called a Zio. It's a patch that mm -hmm. you can wear for two weeks. Mm -hmm. You can shower with it, but you can't go swimming. Mm -hmm. And it'll record every single heartbeat for two weeks. And I found at least two, three times a week a mm -hmm. brand new atrial fib patient. Mm -hmm. and atrial fib is very common in the older population, mm -hmm. especially in people who have sleep apnea. Mm. So people who snore, right. and you don't have to be fat to have sleep apnea. I'm a snorer. If you snore, you should get a sleep study. Oh. And if you fail the sleep study and mm -hmm. you have sleep apnea, mm -hmm. you should get the zero because you'll probably have atrial fib. Oh, There's... so is that cover, covered by insurance? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. All covered by insurance. I better come and get it. So if you look at my Facebook page, mm -hmm. you see a lot of stories because every time I see one, I post it. Mm -hmm. And it's more to tell, I have 3,500 followers mm -hmm. on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And it's more like, you guys, what's this? If you have palpitations, right. come see me or your nearest cardiologist mm -hmm. and get a check. Yeah, that could save Before you get your stroke. Oh, yeah. wow, so. interesting. Mm -hmm. so I'm then learning... I, had, I had a young lady who was complaining of dizzy spells mm -hmm. and she had, when we put this thing on, she had her heart stop for like four seconds. Oh, Can you imagine the... if it's... she was driving behind uh -huh. you and you're in a stoplight and she's like, boom, oh. right into your back. Wow. We yeah. put a pacemaker on her the same day. She was in New York. We called that's her. That's different from skipping a heartbeat. That's different. That's different. Correct. That's called. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the heart totally stopping. Wow. She was uh, traveling. She was in New York. We called her. And I told her not to go see a cardiologist because it'll take two months to see one over mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So go to the emergency room and then have, right the, away. have the emergency room doctor call me. So she did. Uh -huh. The ER doctor called me and I said, I told him what was going on and I sent him the data. Mm -hmm. She had a pacemaker the same day. Wow. Yeah. Save her life, huh? You bet. Or oh. mine. Uh -huh. She was driving next to me. Wow. Yeah. So is this like a common um, thing? That so it's now because of this new tool I'm using, and mm -hmm. I've only been using it for the last four months, Okay. I'm finding so many and I'm thinking, my God, this has been there all along and nobody knew it. Mm -hmm. And I'm finding them, saving their lives, obviously. Yeah, tell us again, Doc, so that we can remember. So atrial fibrillation, mm -hmm. the whole key is if you're dizzy mm -hmm. or if you have palpitations. Pal irregular pal uh, palpitations. Correct. See me or your nearest cardiologist. Uh -huh. so. and not because you're in love, you know. No. That's the different kind of palpitation. Or seeing a pretty girl pass by. Oh, <laughs> that's another. <laughs> <laughs> this one is really unusual Correct. heartbeat yes. that uh, mm -hmm. can't seem to uh, stop. Does that's it right. feel like uh, you're having indigestion? But no, that, that's, so the chest pain pattern actually, especially in women, mm -hmm. could be 
totally different. The main, the man's classic chest pain is severe pressure. He's mm -hmm. sweaty, short of breath. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. pain going up the neck and down the arm. That's classic. Okay. Doesn't happen in women. Oh. That's why women have more heart attacks that get undiagnosed. Women die more from heart attacks because men doctors just poop with their symptoms and uh -huh. say, ah, it's just another female complaining. So I'm very, very aggressive with women. Mm -hmm. They just say that they get short of breath, no chest pain, I'll study the hell out of them. Make mm -hmm. sure that it's not mm -hmm. the heart. But Just to make sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm finding them so, because they're the percent with atypical symptoms. Mm -hmm. so. so proper uh, early detection is, yes. is what we're talking about. It's always that. the case. Yeah. Remember, yeah. health is wealth. Yes. It's not all the money in the world, right, Doc? Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, I really learned a lot today. Uh, the things that we can do. We can be our own doctor and detect. Um, so, actually, if you have the money, uh -huh. buy a watch like this. Okay. How this fancy is, the, is that, Doc? This is the Apple Watch okay. Series 4. Uh -huh. And I can do my own EKG mm -hmm. by doing this. Okay. And so I can know what my rhythm is just by watching the EKG. Wow. That's ahead of the uh, new, technology. Yeah, the new Series 5 mm -hmm. is good for diabetics because the back of this watch, this thing over here, is mm -hmm. a sensor for blood sugar. Oh. So you don't have to get blood tests anymore. You can just get your watch to tell you what your sugar is. Now, how, how expensive is that contraption? Well, Doc? pricey. <laughs> okay, I got to wait for Christmas, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, it's been a very educational uh, show, uh, Dr. Canelo Cañete. Mga kaibigan, tawagan nyo iso na no, dati kaya yung maandan iti, dati makong ko nga early detection tap no, amwen yo, nga dito yung wagas nga panakasalbar iti biagyo ways that we can save our wa lives by having this early detection and uh, uh, you want to be sure they want to uh, come to you and make an appointment so that you could uh, do your expertise your magic doctor and uh, uh, look into their vein and, and their heart and their heart because uh, iso ti expert ni Dr. Danilo Cañete ito ya a cast cardiologist that the salon at the puso tayo and with that i want to thank you from thank the heart you. doctor for spending uh this quality time with us empowering us so again we have a mission we aim to enrich enlighten educate entertain and we hope to empower you by sharing this very pertinent information about being well and healthy uh, thank you again doctor maraming salamat this uh, wraps up another edition of Pinoy Power Hawaii. I want to thank each one of you again for being with us. And we say mabuhay, maraming salamat po.